Welcome back, fellow Grand Strategists. My name is Danny Stone, and I'm delighted for you guys to be able to join me today for another episode of Imper Imperator Rome, sorry, as the Glorious Republic of Rome. By the way, we are playing with the Levy Update and the Punic Wars DLC patch for those who didn't follow the previous episode. So, in the last episode, what happened? We kind of destroyed the Lucanians. So, as you can see, we've got a little bit bigger on the south here, and we kind of took out the Lucanians. Um, and we were getting ready to go to war with either, I think it was the Brutians and, or Brutians and some other city-states. However, you guys may notice that the date has advanced slightly compared to where I left the last episode. Now, this is because I kind of screwed up. I forgot to hit the record button. So I kind of played uh, maybe three or four years without realising that I wasn't recording. So yeah, I apologise. However, Please rest assured that nothing really major happened. All I did in them three years was trying to kind of get another army going. So we got this, the uh, another legion here, led by Quintinius Fabius Rullianus, who's a pretty decent general. And uh, we spent pretty much a lot of the time trying to get the damn Senate on my side. And as you can see, now there are, well, there is overwhelming support from the Senate for declaring war on Metapontum. So you really guys didn't really miss much. It was like a lot of boring political kind of manoeuvring and so forth. So nothing really major. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is definitely trying to take some more land off the southern Greek uh, influence states. So as you see over here, look at these little Greek, tiny little blue blobs of Greek, which are horrible and disgusting. I want to replace it with a nice Roman red. So uh, anyway, let's get the game rolling. And uh, our armies are pretty much in place, so uh, at the end of the month we get the morale tick, so my army, there we go, see, we've got the extra morale tick, so the morale is full, and we're going to go to war here. Um, the Senate overwhelmingly supports this war, um, however, we would be in a big end, because we'll have Croton against us, Alea, Tarentum, Metapontum, and Brutia. So uh, it's kind of taken, uh, it's a really major war, and hopefully we'll be able to come out of it on top. However, I just realised that I have no Cassus Belli. And I probably don't want to declare war against the... No, I don't want to declare war against the Brutians on their own because, yeah, they, um, how to put it, they have quite a few more alliances. I don't think I can call... Ah, damn it. I can't summon a war council. So what I'm going to have to do here is we're going to have to go for a claim. Let's quickly make a claim. Um, cover actions. I'll fabricate a claim on these guys. Um, yeah, let's fabricate a claim. On Lucania here, we'll just quickly take them out. Hopefully it won't take too long. I think there's a tech which increases the speed. Or have I took... I've already taken that, so that's fine. I could change to Bellicose Stance, to be honest. How much money do you make? 3.82. I could change to the Bellicose Stance. It will finish May 461. Uh, about a year. We'll wait a year. I don't think the Senate will change in a year. I've, I don't think they will. Um, however, there is an election soon. Damn. Okay, though, there is an election. That's bad. That's pretty bad because that means that the... Yeah, the power will change. The power shift will change. However, since the military faction does have a lot of support in the Senate, I think they would approve of the war, even if there was a political shift. We'll see. Anyway, we're already at 23%. We'll see what happens. If not, I'll just have to re-maneuver uh, the political hallways of the Senate. It's not really that bad. Can I actually make roads with these guys yet? No, I need Roman roads. I need a tradition for that. Hmm, I wonder what it actually does. Is it actually different from another road? What, what, what happens? I'm sure it goes into the civilization level here. Um, the road network in the territory. No, it didn't. I'd like to like see what modifiers the road has. I'm pretty sure it does it affect migration. Yep, the road network affects migration. Okay, it should road network in territory plus zero percent. I don't think it affects the uh, civilization level, does it? No, it doesn't at the moment. It just affects migration and troop movement speed. But um, anyway, um, let's keep the game rolling. So what, 41%? Yeah, it'll get there quickly. And see, look, the Senate no longer wants to support me in my war. How come? It just, all of a sudden, it just changed massively. Support is at 71%. They don't support me a lot. The Civic Faction support is at 63%. Hmm. Yeah, this is why we should have claims pretty much ready all over the place. Um, so, yeah, we should probably get a few going, to be honest. I'm also going to go go for a claim over here, maybe. 
Yeah, let's fabricate a claim on these guys. Let's just get a couple of claims going all over our neighbours. So then I won't be caught out like we were this time. Kind of, I was ready to go to war, the Senate wanted to go, but I didn't have the claim. That was, that was my fault, though. I should have really planned that. Um, anyway, expansion of the tribes. Since Romulus founded our great city, its citizens have been divided into the tribes. Originally, it was an ethnic distinction, but since the Republic was formed, the tribes have been divisions uh, of eligible citizens whose local consensus is submitted to a vote in the Tribal Assembly in Rome. The number of tribes has fluctuated throughout history, beginning with the Mealy Three. There are now over 30, added or redrawn as our state has grown. New tribes are formed as our citizen population rises to better represent the opinions of the whole republic. There have been calls lately to create two more tribes to be named Aniensis and Tarantina to ensure votes are fairly distributed. So I have a zero. Rome gains expansion of the tribe, provincial loyalty plus 0.05, and Rome gains immigration, local pop growth plus 0.25%. Or I have enough tribes. Uh, let's expand the tribes. Why not? Why not? Why not? There's no wrong with doing that. I have 56 seats behind me. We'll see what happens when the next guy gets elected. Then we'll actually see what we need to do to manoeuvre, to, to, to politically manoeuvre, sorry. Um, how many gold do I have? I have quite a bit. I suppose we could increase the size of our armies here, but I don't think I need to, to be honest. I might actually increase the size of the navy quickly. I'm very tempted to, just so we can actually kind of get some blockades going. And it'll be a lot better if we get a couple of blockades going, notably on the, slight lo on the ports on the side here, because the siege will go a lot quicker. I think there's a port in a layer, so yeah, why not? Let's um, increase the size of the navy here. Build a navy. How many Liburnians do I have? The Liburnians are cheap, so I'll just go for two, three, four, five, six Liburnians. Two more triremes, I think, or triremes. They're the triremes. Um, should I go for one quadrireme? And this will go for one hex room. Yeah, there we go. All right, that will increase the size of the navy. So we'll, we'll, we'll add all that to that. It'll all be useful. Bigger navies, slightly better. And then we can actually blockade some ports. So the election will happen here. Okay, so we now have the religious faction in control. So let's just quickly put a title. We need to give the uh, Pontifex Maximus title to somebody. Um, probably give it to the best man for the job. Lucius Sempronius Violens. He's a populist. But yeah, we'll, we'll give it to you. That's fine. That's not a problem. Um, let's check in the government now. The populist influence is... Yeah, it's not rising that much. It's okay. Now let's check what the political climate is like. Okay, so we have not much support. Now I need to get this. Target is stronger than us. That gives it an extra 10%. No, there's no seats there. No one really supporting that action. The best action would be over here, maybe. One of these tiny little city-states. Yeah, we need, to, we need to see what we need. Anyway... The populist faction, they have 17 seats and none of them really support me. Hmm, support is at 19%. Okay. Maybe, what about the religious faction? How many do they have? They have 16 seats and they don't support me because it's not the same, well, it's the same religion, so we don't get that extra 20%. The country's, mm, no, we don't have any religious ideas. Okay, what about the mercantile? There's not a lot of them. The civic faction is what we need here. So the target is tribal. No, it's not. Can I befriend the guy? How much money does this guy have? Well, he has a lot of money. And I'm going to grant him a holding in Lavinium here. There we go. It's a little bit more cash. And let's try and befriend some of the political leaders here. So let's befriend the... Yeah, let's befriend the civic faction first. Make friends with you. There we go. And I should probably try and make friends after with the military leader. We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a go. Hopefully it will work. At least it'll give us time to get the navy up to scratch, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you could say, damn, just force through the Senate. But I do actually want to try and play it properly without forcing everything through the Senate every time. I think it gives it to... It kind of makes a more interesting playthrough instead of going, yeah, well, I only get five tyranny and lose a bit of stability. Let's just force. I mean, at least now we have to actually play the political system. Make it an impression. Our position offers many ways to publicly flatter Publius Sempronius Sophus. So what do I want? I publicly praise him. Oh, yeah, let's publicly praise him. Lose a bit of political influence. Publicly praise the guy. Why not? Um, I make a bit of gold still, which is fine. Just keep an eye on this. Still only 42 seats. What about you here? Still only 42. I need a new omen now. Let's go for the national tax here. More gold, national tax. Anyway, exotic gifts. So we can buy the guy a gift. Let's buy him a tiger. This makes a large amount. The, the, the more, like, kind of the larger the amount of progress, the better it will be. So I just want to kind of ensure we get this guy as a friend. Because, Jesus Christ, the walls to pass through the Senate are incredibly tricky. Especially on these italic, like, kind of little tiny italic states, because they are the same kind of culture. Well, 
pretty much the same religion, which makes it a little bit trickier. Anyway, everyone likes gold, so I should either bribe the guy. How much gold do I have? I have a lot, so I'm going to bribe him. Let's bribe him with a large amount. I definitely want that. Definitely bribe the guy. We still have a lot of money over, so I think it should be fine. And then we should have enough money left over to actually go and uh, pretty much try and befriend the military leader. Who is going to be the next guy in power? It will be Publius Cornelius Mus, the military faction. Good, we want the military faction in power. Anyway, so we have a friendship with the guy, which is great. So that actually worked out well. Okay, so we have 48 seats now. So support is now at 60%. I could do with some more popularity. I could really do with getting some more popularity. What if I were to hold some games? Hmm. Let's... 0.5. Let's um, hold some games. And I'll hold the games in Rome. Okay, so that should um, help with popularity-wise. So let's hold, hold some games first. The next thing we're going to do here is probably try and get the military faction on our side. So let's see. Okay, how much support? I'm at 62% support. Could do some more, actually. The populists really don't want to support us. Maybe if I befriended the populists. Or not. Let's befriend the military faction first. Let's see if we can become friends with them. Let's just grease people's hands and just befriend them all. Now, we're going to be holding games, so hopefully that will help a little bit popularity-wise. It should help. Or do I have to wait for an event? Oh, that's an ambition to sponsor games. Okay, so I've got to wait for it to finish. So while having this ambition, the following effects are active. Monthly wealth minus 5. And monthly popularity plus 0.50. I can't see the modifier being applied. Maybe I have to wait for the end of the month tick. Anyway, let's get the guy a tiger. Oh, yeah. Buy you a tiger, dude. And there we go. So now we gain popularity each month, which is cool, which is definitely what we need. More popularity, the better. The better chance we have of passing stuff through the Senate. What is our nation overview like? There's nothing really here I can do. Is there anything that I could get for some popularity? I have an hour, I have a claim on Lucania. That's fine. I don't think there's anything for monthly popularity. There is down here though, but it's the religious ideas, and I think it's over here, look, um, here we go, monthly popularity gain. But I could take that, but I would lose the, um, I'd lose the benefit of the Freeman happiness and the um, monthly loyalty, but would I, would, would I need that? Then I'll gain like nearly one per month. Let's see how it works when we befriend the, um, the military guy. And then, depending on what happens, if you have enough seats or votes or not, then we'll try and probably gain some more popularity. Anyway, opposition offers many ways to publicly flatter Quintus Fabius Rullianus. So, publicly plays his deeds, which we will do, which gains a little bit more. A little bit more, like, kind of influence towards being his friend. Our navy's growing slightly. Come on, I want a war, people. Why won't you give me a damn war? Is there another kind of target we could do? Apulia? Nah, they don't want to go. What if I was to go for the Sabines? No, what about um, Etruria? Nope, and they're allied with Carthage, which makes it really tricky. Anyway, the benefits of power. So what happens? Someone's pretty much peeing him off. So I can make a small amount of progress. I gain a bit of tyranny. Yeah, why not? He loses a bit of gold, but I gain a bit of tyranny. But hey, we make kind of kind of better progress towards being his friend. And we now have 54 seats. Come on, if, we're, if we befriend the guy, it should work. Anyway, accident in Ostia. We've been told of a major industrial accident at the extensive works in the vicinity of Ostia in Latium. Iron is the main export of the city, and it seems to be the knuckleheads in charge of the site have allowed parts of the structural supports to fall into neglect as they keep up with high demand. So basically a huge collapse has wiped out the working shift of slaves. And I don't have the gold to cover the costs. Um... Oh, I lose popularity. I don't want to lose popularity. So what I'm going to do here is I will cover the repair cost. So slave happiness goes down. Citizen happiness goes up a bit. I do lose a slave. I am in debt. Now, hopefully there'll be an event where I can gain a little bit of cash off it. And it won't be too long. Maybe like in a couple of months, maybe four months or something. We shall be fine. Anyway, friendship with Quintus. So we now are friends with the dude. There we go. So now we can actually go. Now, I just need to be positive in cash. Once we are positive in money, I'm going to go to war. And I don't think it would swing that quickly. So let's um, let's wait till I get to the positive here. We have 63 seats. Ah, oh, see, there we go. Now we've now we've actually played the played the Senate like a fiddle, which is great. 
Come on, we just need to get that cash. A couple more months and we should be fine. Uh, civilization or to advances, which is cool. That gives us another level in tech. We can actually buy some more stuff, but as I don't have the money just yet, then it's pretty pointless. As soon as I hit positive here, we're going to go to war. There we go. Oh, no. So what's this? A friend in need. Publius Cornelius uh, Barbatus, in the last desperate act to save Rome from bankruptcy, has appealed to certain members of the government for help. So I lose some stability and I get gold. Damn. Well, at least it fills the coffers. Hopefully it won't act on that. No, it hasn't. So that's cool. That's fine. I'll definitely have that. That's cool. I have now a little bit of cash stored, which means we are going to go to war. Finally. So we're going to do war against a little tiny alliance of the southern Greek states or southern Greek uh, influence states here. So uh, let's definitely go for it. Take Lycania. Why not? Bim, bam, boom. Off we go. We definitely need to do this war. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to pull out this navy. This navy is definitely going to come over here and blockade this port. In a layer here, we're going to move you guys down there. You are going to go here and you are going to go here. Hopefully we'll wipe out their troops quickly before they merge, which is the, which is the plan. Um, let's quickly see if I can catch them. I don't think I can actually. They're going to run away. Okay, so we have caught them there, which is fine. Let's quickly keep the game on pause. Reduce the speed because I want to see what goes on. We have captured someone over here, which is fine. So we are starting to besiege... Why? How many level of forts does he have? Wow, he has two fort level. Okay. What's his fort level? Two. Are you serious? I didn't know that. Okay. That is interesting. Now, they have smartened up the AI a little bit here. That is really nice to know. I'm going to authorise attachments. Hopefully, they'll help him. Uh, we have started to get that. That is cool. And they're going to quickly wipe out these guys, hopefully. Come on. There we go. So, that's nice. So, we wiped out their men. We're going to move here. Or let's see what happens. Let's... um. Let's move over there and we'll to see what happens to the Bruchian army here. Where are they moving? Okay, they're there. That's fine. Let's see if we can actually catch this guy. Okay, they're coming on to me. So we need to move. Uh, why aren't you not coming to help me, guys? I probably should actually put you on Force March. And we are going to get there. Try and get there quickly. When does he arrive? On the 18th of December. Yeah, we need to get in there quickly. Come on, hopefully they can hold off. But I don't think they are going to. When are they arrive? The 31st? I don't think they're going to hold. Maybe they are, actually. Maybe they are, especially since we are getting a few men reinforcing. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully they can get in there. When do they arrive? The 10th of Jan. I don't think they're going to hold. No, they didn't hold. They didn't hold. That's a shame, but anyway, we just reinforced in time. Enough to wipe out the Bruchian army, which is fine. That's not a problem. We can definitely have it that way. Okay, so they've been taken out, which is fantastic. Now, they're retreating back, but that's fine. They can retreat back. We'll get them to revitalize and kind of resupply. Um, we have civic advantage, which is great, which means we have access to more tech. Where is my fleet? My fleet is actually blocking the siege, well, they're blocking the port there, increasing our siege efficiency, which is nice. Um, I've got a character that's not loyal, but hey, it happens. Our fooditories or vassals are all coming down to give us a hand here, which is fantastic. We have this 15k stack here besieging this fort. Well, then we're going to have to go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and like, kind of take all these forts. But this is really interesting. They've actually built up their defences to two level forts, which makes it really interesting. I just automatically assumed that they were just going to leave it as like one level forts, as they did before the update. Let's export wine, which reduces the maintenance cost. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Honestly, I think that's a really, really nice kind of upgrade to the AI. That really caught me out. That caught me by surprise. Really badly, actually. Um, anyway, we're going to be losing some men, normal, because we are replenishing our armies. I would have to actually increase the armies after this war, probably, to about maybe... All three armies will be 15k stacks. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Okay, here we're at minus 28%, minus 14%. It's going to take a while. It's normal. Um, see the fort levels higher the fort level, the trickier it will be. I mean, is there anything to help here? I probably should go for the... Hmm, what do I want here? Is there anything that could help? We could go for aggressive expansion impact. Yeah, let's go for that. It will reduce the aggressive expansion impact on this war, since there's a lot of potential land to take, so um, we do need to kind of be careful. Um, I'm going to go and target this 5k stack. Actually, no, our ally's doing it for us, so let's um, quickly move there, quickly give him a hand. 
Um, stockpile disappears. It has come to our attention that a substantial amount of the state food stockpiles in the province of Lucania have disappeared overnight. So either Appius is responsible, I gain popularity, he will no longer be governor. I should actually bribe that governor, to be honest. He's not very loyal, but he's good at his job. Hmm. I probably should fire him. Well, what happens? I'll just have to buy it back. Yeah, I'm not buying it back. Heads will roll. What happens? I gain cool. Okay, what is that? This local slave up. Okay. Oh, they can always grow more. Um, do I want him responsible? You know what? Appius is responsible. We can't have him doing that under our watch. So we are going to place another governor in charge over here. And I'll place... Um, is there another Appius, maybe? No, they're not very good. What are you? You're really bad as well. So we're not going to place an Appi uh, the Appius guy. Don't matter. We'll place somebody else. This guy with Province Commerce. You can do a fine job. And look, he's done actually a pretty decent job of taking the right policies. Except over here. But we want the cultural assimilation, of course. And uh, maybe down here as well. I want cultural assimilation. But um, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can actually place uh, one of the Appius guys in a position of power. Maybe in officers over here. Anyone who's naff, who's got a really, who's got really bad stats. Gnaeus Flavius, he's not of a major family, so we could put someone in his position instead. Yeah, you're really bad. You know what, they're just going to have to be scorned. Tough it, so, so be it, you're just going to have to be scorned. Not my problem. Hopefully that 5k stack will wipe out his 5k stack. What else is going on down here? Okay, everything's going nice, 0% there. Yeah, they're going to probably lose, but hey, it happens. Let's get rid of the unit reorganisation. Now we're going to catch this 3k stack, which is fine. Here we are losing attrition. That's fine, but we are doing the blockade and there was a storm over our heads. We've got three simultaneous sieges going on here. The battle has been won over there, which is great. We have people who we can ransom. But then I don't keep them. I think the ransom mechanic has got to be bugged. If someone knows if it is, please tell me. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure the damn thing's right, really bugged. Let's march um, Let's march down here into Blando. We'll block off the Brutian path. Actually, no. Let's go down here. We'll go down to... Um... Oh, I can't because that fort's stopping it. We'll go down to Blando with them. That's fine. Then this 15k stack army could go and take Talas. Okay, minus 21% there, 7% here. The extra fort level really slows things down, I've got to say. I'm impressed with the AI there, actually, building another fort. It actually makes sense. It makes quite a bit of sense. That war with who? Macedon. Talentia. Okay, that's because they're um, allies. Okay, that's fine. I was just worried Macedon wanted to go for that then. Anyway, we are blocking them there. That's fine. That means they can't come past that section. I'm dying pops over here. How come? Why? Oh, it's been looted. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 0% there, 21% there. Is that going to fall? There we go, that's fantastic. So that has fallen. Let's go over there now and take the rest of the stuff. Once this has been taken, I'll march down with these two armies and we'll march south. At least we're not losing any food because our supply chain's in our land there, so... Um, no, I don't want to hire them mercs. Go to hell. Enemy captured. Nope, don't want to hire them mercs. No, thank you. Here, we're nearly there. 21%. I'm going to send this navy back around the side afterwards just because we can blockade the ports here. These two ports can be blockaded at once once this has been taken. Okay, our armies are back up to nearly full strength over here, which is fine. That's still not fallen, but it's going to go. It's going to get there. And then we can march through Brutia and maybe even Croton, because they're at war with us as well. So we could take them out. And that will bring us on the um, kind of the precipice of Syracusan territory, which will then give us a new possibility for expansion. Okay, so the Siege of Alea has been won, which is great. Now let's move. So I'm going to pause the game here quickly. We're going to move you guys through here. I'm going to bring these guys in as reinforcements, which is fine. Their navy is going to come out. We're going to destroy them. That's fine. Enemy captured. That's great. I should probably wait here, to be honest, till they arrive together. You are going to go and blockade down the south there, which is fine. Okay, so they've arrived together, which is fantastic. Let's move them together, and then I'll split them up, and we'll start sieging everything down. Martial advances, which is great as well. That gives us more tech. Now I... Probably should... I'm not going to buy any just yet. We'll do it at the end of the war. I'll prioritise some tech at the end of the war because there is some pretty decent stuff. Notably, all the stuff to do with, like, um, how to put it, siege efficiency, heavy infantry discipline, and so forth. So um, I want all that. Anyway, let's keep the game, keep it rolling. Everything's going nicely according to plan. 
There we go. So that has been taken. Fantastic. More pops have been enslaved. Let's go and wipe out that 9k stack. They have bloody good generals. They have... I, I, they must have gave, like, the AI more decent generals. Because a lot of them have, like, 10 master stack generals. And we gain a bit of stability. Free. I don't know why. I'd like to see an event pop up to tell me why I gained the stability. But, hey, we just gained it. Um, enemy captured again. But still, it's like, I capture enemies, but I can't ransom them. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's have a look at the imprisoned characters. Oh, these are all imprisoned. Okay. Oh, can I ransom you guys? Why can't I ransom? I'd like to ransom them. They are my prisoners, and they're of the major families that I've captured. So it'd be nice to be able to um, ransom the guys and get some cash off them. Anyway, the battle is raging down here in the south. 24,000 against 8,000 men. We're just going to quickly destroy them. All that is fine and good. They're probably going to try and reinforce, but it's going to be too late. Um... And then what's this? Veterans move on. The prime farmland granted to veterans of battle is simple recognition of their service to Rome. Sometimes, however, the lower battles of glory can prove too much for these for a life of menial labour. To every cloud, I gain 2,000 uh, manpower and Tiber gains state-owned farmland, which gets some rest down and the local tax up. Um, there's a battle raging. There we go. Oh, what's this? Claudian troops mobilised. What's this? The head of the Claudian family, Appius Claudius Caesus, utterly fed up with the situation, has begun mobilising local forces in the city of Verona. Where's that? So where's the, um... What? I don't see any forces. Or maybe we have to wait a little bit. Maybe it's an event chain where... Oh, I don't know. Um, how many... What's the fort level here? Only one, so um, I'll leave you guys there. You guys are going to go backwards. You're going to stay here. They're going to go back and try and replenish a little bit. Um, so yeah, the um, we have a couple of people that are pretty pissed, to be honest. Um... Oh, he's going to die soon, so that's one down, that's one less. Okay, how much gold are we making? Seven, that's fine. I could probably go for some tech here to help us. Let's go for the siege ability, just because we've got a couple of sieges rolling, so it will actually help. It would increase the efficiency. Why not? This is nearly occupied, this is slowly getting there. Then we can take that, then we'll take Croton, and we'll take the other stuff, and uh, then we should be fine. How about is our supplies? Yeah, we have quite a bit of supplies left, so that's not really going to be much of an issue. Okay, 0% there and 42% here. That's got to fall soon, surely to God. Surely, surely, surely. And why do I have so much aggressive expansion? How did I get aggressive expansion? That makes no sense. Or did I declare war without a Cassus Belly? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Or was that due to an event? Honestly, I can't remember. I can't remember seeing that much aggressive expansion. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get that down at the end of the war. I might actually change it to appeasing stance at some point. Anyway, 42% here. Please fall. Please, 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 please. Please. Just pretty please. <laughs> Come on. And yep, that is falling, which is great. Now they're going to move over there, which is fine. And they're all transferring the occupations to me, which is fantastic. The Siege of Taras has been won as well. So now I think it's time to move. I'm actually going to embark these on the fleet, and then we'll disembark over into Croton, I think. Yeah, let's bring them all down here. We'll go into Croton, and we'll attack Croton from sea. Here, we're at 7%. That is fantastic. Let's um, let's get you guys in here. There we go. I'm going to catch these 3k stack, wandering with their tails between their legs. Uh, we've got a Scorn family here, the Claudii. Should probably give something to the Claudii. What are you? You're... Here's the auger. Okay. You're just really bad. I could probably give you control of the navy, to be honest. I should probably give him control of the navy. It would give him a position. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, monthly ship repair at C plus 0.01. Why not? Yeah, we'll do that. I guess with the Scorn family, and hopefully that means that they won't be that peed off at me, and they would not actually try to raise any kind of armies and try and kill me. Um... There's pirates there, and there's quite a few of them. I don't like the looks of that. Uh, we are actually sieging Croton down now, which is fantastic. This is 14% chance to fall. Hopefully it will. Please fall. Please, 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 please. Pretty please. I mean, I'm begging the gods for you to fall. And there. Uh, look at that. See, sometimes you just have to beg the gods for forgiveness. <laughs> Alright, let's march down uh, to Tempsil. We'll take that. And probably... I probably should march straight down to Hipponium. Yeah, let's march straight down to Hipponium. 
We'll quickly take that. You guys are going to march you to Tempsa here. Might as well. And then we'll keep. We'll block them there. Uh, religious advantage, which is fantastic. More tech, more tech, and more tech. We do only do need to spend some time taking tech. And look at this. The city is burning. I love that. Love that little detail they put where the city burns. It's just beautiful for the warmongers like me. <laughs> Anyway, manpower's fine, treasure is okay, everything's going smoothly here. I'm quite happy with the way things are going, to be honest. Just got to take this fort. Once that fort and Croton are done, then the war would pretty much be over. We're already at 93%. I could actually up the speed here, we don't need to keep it on speed 3. The threat has actually been significantly reduced. Um, so then we just have Syracuse to take care of after over here, but the question of Sicily will be for after. I want the whole of the boot of Greece first. Anyway, fugitives cross the borders. Fleeing the dreadful war with Simonia, a number of large imported dignitaries have managed to escape to our lands, hoping to find refuge. So I can welcome them. Um, whoa, these guys are really good, but they are not Roman. Are oh, they good people, but no, I'm going to put them to death. <laughs> Simonia gains opinion, let's just put them to death. I don't want extra characters, and they're not Roman as well, so we don't want that. Um... 7%, 14%, yeah, this is nearly all finished. Let's just, just check on how much it would cost war score-wise. I don't think it would cost them a lot. Yeah, we wouldn't really get that much war score from taking all this. So that's pretty good, considering our war score is really high. Yeah, there's no decay because we're at war. We're aggressors in a war, that's why. I just can't remember. I must have, I must have, I don't know, did I declare an OCB war? Or was there an event that gets the stability kind of down? I, I, um, the um, aggressive expansion up? I can't remember. Um, the treasury of Publius Cornelius Mus. So, what with this? It seems Publius Cornelius Mus has got his hands on a lot of wealth. He's recently started investing a great deal of silver into building a reputation for himself. Now, what do I do here? Either well, quiet down in time, I lose a bit of popularity. He loses loyalty. He gains popularity. He gains corruption and gains money. Or time to share with the rest. I gain a bit of tyranny. Now, hopefully, I don't want to gain any tyranny. Hopefully, he'll, hopefully he'll quiet down. We'll just he'll quiet down eventually. Anyway, that siege has been won. I probably don't need to... Yeah, let's go and take this. Do I need to take this guy out? Probably not. No, we'll just wait to siege that down, and then everything should be fine. <laughs> and then everything will be taken by us. And then we could focus our attention maybe to the... Um, as I like to call the uh, penis of Italy. <laughs> just look, turn it like that. See? Looks like a penis. Mesapia looks like a penis. Anyway, enough of the stupid stuff. Um, Frenatia want annulatory access. That's fine. You can have that. And there the siege has been won, which is fantastic. We now occupy most of the stuff. We are fighting their fleet. Hopefully we can sue for peace quickly. And they won't give me that for some reason because I don't occupy it. So I need to occupy that. So we will do. Let's go and take it. And our fleet has been destroyed by this inferior fleet. Well, they're not inferior fleet, but it's just that they have a better general. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened there. We'll quickly take this last thing here, which is fine. You guys are going to actually march you all the way back up into... Where should I put you? I'm going to put you in Capua. That's fine. These guys, the main legion, I'm going to march you all the way back up to Rome. Because that's where you're going to be stationed. And then the other one, I'll probably base it down in the south here somewhere. Anyway, they've been killed. We'll now just quickly occupy the rest here. I will need to rebuild the fleet after. We'll try and build a decent one. We should have a bit more money at the end of this war anyway, so there we go, 100%, fantastic, bim bam boom, I'm going to take that. And everything's been taken, we only get 7 aggressive expansion, which isn't too shabby to be honest. So, um, are you kidding me? I can't take it because it is higher than, oh I can actually separate piece, why not? Yeah, I'm going to separate piece the guys, so let's separate piece a layer here. Super piece, I'll separate piece with them, I think I'm only negotiating with a layer. So there we go, we separate piece these guys, so that's fine. Uh, what are they? I don't think they're Roman, are they? What is a layer? What is the majority? Now they're not uh, They're not Roman, so um, we're just going to kill them. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's get popularity. The more popularity we get, the better. So we've got piece them out. Um, let's piece Brutian. Let's piece the Brutians out as well. They want to sue for peace, so I'll take the whole of Calabria. Um, do they... Who is the war leader? I need to double check. I think it's Heraclea the war leader. Yeah, they are. So if I go for peace with Brutia, then they would give us their land, and that means we could do it easily. So um, let's take that. I think we take all of it there. 
That's fantastic. There we go. Just white piece, everybody. Are these Greek? I think they're Greek as well. I think they are. Um, let's just... Um, I'm just going to kill them all. Boom. More popularity for our ruler. Why not? Uh, Croton next. Let's uh, super piece with you guys. we have got a super piece here. Um, I probably don't need to separate piece now. I could just do it all in one go, to be honest. So we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. It's less aggressive expansion doing it that way. Um, so yeah, now we can take that. That is fantastic. Bim, bam, and boom. I think everything's... Whoa, yeah, everything's been taken. There we go. Look at that. It's all fantastic. So we're going to kill them all. These Greeks don't like Greeks. <laughs> Do not like Greeks. And I'll just banish these guys to get the aggressive expansion down. Banish them to get the aggressive expansion down. I don't want to bring any more fat people in. I mean, they're Greek and I don't like Greeks. And there we have it. Look at that now. We have a lot of the southern boot of Italy. We just need to take out the Puglia and the Mesapians next. We do need to get that aggressive expansion down, which we'll probably do next episode. Well, what I will do off camera, I'll kind of move some thoughts about. We have way too many here to maintain. But I'll do that off camera and I don't want to bore you guys. And I'll tell you what I've done at the start of the next episode. So I am going to end it here, guys. It's been a bit longer than usual, but it's been a pretty decent episode, I have to admit. As per usual, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more Imperator Rome content, also don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thank you again, guys, for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Imperator Rome. Later, people.